Get ready with me to go on a date. A lot of you have been attacking me. The trip that I booked, therapy session, you guys are not going to believe it. My current addiction, dropping out of school. Look at how cute this is. Officially dating. Going through some stuff. Dyson Airwrap. Today's video is going to be like a FaceTime vlog and you're currently on FaceTime with your bestie. While I get ready, do my makeup, do my hair, I'm going to be catching you guys up with my life, giving you my beauty and makeup secrets and tips. We are going to be talking about some fun, girly, juicy stuff. This is going to be like a therapy session and FaceTime call all in one. Today is actually Valentine's Day. It is currently 7.51 in the morning. I'm getting ready pretty early because I do have a few things planned today. First, First, I'm going in and prepping my skin because something that I've learned recently is that prepping your skin before doing your makeup is so important. So I actually do have a few steps that I take before doing my makeup to make sure that my skin is nice and moisturized. Right now, I am being a little extra and I'm applying a face mask because today I'm going to wear a little bit more makeup than usual and I do want that makeup to go on a lot smoother. This face mask has actually been one of my recent favorites. This does have a bunch of good stuff in it and it just makes me feel so refresh. I'm actually going to hop into the shower next. I'm going to be washing my hair, shaving and exfoliating my entire body. Okay, so while I let my hair air dry, I'm going to just start prepping my face. So like I mentioned, I'm going on a date today and this time it is not with myself. I know, we have a lot of catching up to do. A lot of you have been attacking me because I don't talk much about my love life here on my channel. And I do remember like a year ago in one of my videos, I did mention that if I ever got a boyfriend that I would tell you guys all about it. So now here we are. Basically, there is now a boy in my life. He is of the male species. To put it short, he's my best friend. We've been adventuring a lot together. I know there's been a lot of you that have noticed him in a few of my vlogs. But basically now we are officially dating. So talking about the subject on my channel is just so weird to me because my family watches my videos and I just know that they're going to be loving this part of the video because I never tell them about these things. And honestly, if you watch my videos, you probably have gotten the hint by now that I I am in a relationship. I was going to talk about it sooner, but the moment that I started to host about it a little bit, there was a few moments where I started to become hesitant about making my relationship public because there was a few people that I guess just got really curious and went and like tried to find super personal information and were commenting it in my comment section. I was just a little uncomfy. I ended up deciding I wasn't going to keep my relationship a secret. Instead, I was just going to keep it private it, like I was going to post about it but not give all the details about it and now that I've been on social media for a while I've noticed that it's so much easier for a relationship to get ruined the moment that you go public with it on social media especially for influencers because anyone can comment on your relationship give opinions on it and I think that's something that I can live without I'm just excited because finally I'm going to be having a date for Valentine's don't get me wrong though because I love taking myself on dates that's literally what I did last year so moving on to my hair I didn't want to do like a blowout and just make it super curly and pretty and you guys are not going to believe it I recently made a very impulsive purchase. It was actually a birthday gift to myself I did get myself the Dyson Airwrap. This actually just arrived this week So this is going to be my first time trying it out. Look at how beautiful this is I have spent the past 48 hours watching every single Dyson Airwrap tutorial on TikTok And I'm officially convinced that I'm going to be a pro at this. This is the hair look that I'm going for taking this front piece of hair, putting it up into this hair roller. But now I have my hair sectioned off into three sections and everybody kind of just... Okay, that was so easy. Okay, let's just keep going. Hear me out guys. Was this crazy expensive? Yes, but it is doing exactly what I needed it to do for me. I feel like the curls are coming out cute, but I'm getting the feeling that these are not gonna last me. So just to ensure that they'll last for most of the day, I'm going to be rolling my hair up into hair rollers so that it helps with making my hair last longer. I look insane. 
Um, we kind of just have to trust the process. I'm going to just start getting into my makeup routine. I'm not going to be going into depth about each of the products. I'm kind of just going to put them here on the screen so you guys can see what I'm doing as I go. Something that I have coming up pretty soon that I actually need to blow up for is a trip that I booked with one of my besties in March. I haven't really processed that it's coming up. That's in like three weeks. We would always talk about traveling together but would never go through with it. We've literally both been so addicted to like traveling vlogs. I've been seeing a lot of Korea vlogs on my TikTok and like YouTube recommended. We thought it would be so cute if we traveled there together. And so just a couple of weeks ago, we booked a trip for March. And I just know the vlogs are going to be so cute because I'm for sure going to be vlogging the entire thing. So you guys should totally get excited for that. I ordered myself this Starbucks. This is my current addiction. It's their pink drink with sweet cream cold foam and two pumps of vanilla. There's actually a lot of things coming up for me these couple of months and I'm trying really hard not to stress out. My apartment lease is actually ending in like May and I could choose to live here for longer but I'm being so indecisive about whether I want to keep living here or not. I also keep talking about my apartment makeover and how I'm going to finish that soon. I am so indecisive and I just keep switching things and wanting to make it perfect so I've been lagging on that but like I have to sort that all out within this next month. Something that kind of sucks about living here is the way that I am not allowed to have pets. I've been desperately wanting to have a pet. I just feel like it could get lonely sometimes. I don't really want to live with another human, but I would love to live with a pet, specifically a cat, because I miss Moose so much. If you guys don't know, Moose was my old cat, which I was so sad. I ended up finding out last month that he passed away, so I was really sad about it. He was just going through some stuff. I'm not sure if the lighting sucks in here. I think this is better, but then Something that's been really taking up my time and energy recently has been school. I actually get a lot of questions about my major. I'm actually currently in business. I've been focusing a lot of time on trying to finish school. I am at a point though where I am constantly mm -hmm. contemplating dropping out of school or like taking a break from school. I'm not gonna lie, that has sounded super tempting, especially because something I really want to focus on is more on my YouTube channel, which has been so hard to do with everything going on. The whole reason I even decided to make business my major that was because I always thought it would be interesting to work in the business side of the creative industry. This spring semester, I'm actually taking a couple more classes, which I'm starting to regret. Also, I'm hoping that this video isn't coming across as like, you need to do all of these things in preparation to like, go on a date. I honestly just got excited that I had a reason to get ready. Like, I literally got up super early for this just so that I could take my time and do all of this self-care stuff on like a regular everyday basis. I hardly ever wear makeup. The point is, is that I'm doing this for myself. Okay, this requires a deep level of concentration. I just made the smallest, most unnoticeable winged eyeliner. So I feel like it still makes a difference. A recent obsession of mine has been brown eyeliner. You know what I just realized? Feels like I'm currently in a Vogue Beauty Secrets video, like with the bathroom in the background. Hey guys, it's Adela here and I am here to show you my everyday makeup and skincare routine. I have been so obsessed with my lip combo recently. I've been so obsessed with Peri Peri's lip liners. I like to go in and slightly overline my lips and then I just like blend it in with my fingers and then I'll dab a little bit of this lip tint in the middle of my lips. It just gives off the illusion of outier, plumper lips. And lastly, I just go in with my Dior lip oil. I literally talk about this all the time. I kind of go crazy with this, to be honest. Okay, I'm almost done. The last step is just applying some mascara. I have had eyelash extensions now for such a long time. I think I'm finally going to take a break from them, so I'm letting them fall out. I'm also taking a break from acrylics, which is why I don't have any nails on. I also wanted to apply more of this highlighter on my cheeks that was actually sent to me recently. I'm so grateful. I have loved this brand for the longest time and now they're sending me stuff. We're also gonna just like put that in the eyes. Okay, so these are my two outfit options right now. I have this pink onesie from Skims or this really cute little set from My Mom Made It. This one probably makes more sense for a date night, but this one looks so much cuter and comfier. I could always change into this at night. I think I'm just gonna go for this one right now. Look at how cute this is. I'm most likely going to pair this with like a jacket or something. Take this out. Now I'm just gonna add some oil to my hair. 
Okay, so this is the official look. Uh, I could definitely use some practice with the Dyson Airwrap. At first, it was a little more voluminous. It kind of like went down. I definitely did not leave the hair rollers on for long enough. But other than that, I feel cute. I'm just gonna put on some perfume. I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me. It's been a minute since I've caught up with you guys. I'll have updates of how my little date went over on my Instagram if you guys want to go follow me. I'm going to be making sure to take tons of cute pictures. If you guys have any questions, need any kind of advice, or literally just any thoughts you have, go comment them down below. I'll be responding to as many comments as I can. I am going to be heading out soon. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.